I'm Pat Holland. I'm so glad you could join me for my table settings talk. Have you ever noticed how that so often the most elegant designs are the simplest? This plain linen tablecloth and napkins are edged with a deep scallop trim. I love the color. It's just clean and crisp. So I added this homemade runner with paisley swirls of browns and beiges. My acorn and oak leaf and bloss chargers are from Walmart. Yes, Walmart. And I found these. The season was almost over and I had to search every Walmart in town and even some out of town to find enough for my table. But it was worth it. I love the rich walnut color and the embossed design that adds so much richness to this table. Details are so important in a beautiful table. The textures and colors and shapes of each piece in this tablescape are vital components in this table setting. I found these wild turkey decanters. The only turkey we serve in this house will be on a platter, not in a glass, but the decanter is a beautiful vase. Now, the top wing was missing, but that was okay because I was going to use it for a flower arrangement. I wanted to use fall colors, but I'm not so crazy about that bright, garish orange tones. And these yellow fuzzy seed balls on stems and the orange and brown seed heads were perfect. I found them at Hobby Lobby. I purchased these muted brown and beige leaves at Michael's. This arrangement is more relaxed and natural instead of formal because the floral elements I used are so casual. I made a big burlap bow for the back of each arrangement. I placed a Johnson Brothers Heritage Hall oval serving platter in the center of the table, and then I added an arrangement on each side of the platter. I wanted both sides of the table to enjoy the face and the front of the turkey on the decanter. So the turkey decanter has the face on one side and the back side of the turkey on the other side. The arrangement is two-sided. So I place one turkey face in one side of the table and the other turkey face in the opposite side of the table. And the bow sits above the turkey on the back side and the streamers on that bow fall down. It's hard to explain, but if you just look at the picture, you understand that both sides got to see the face of the turkey decanter. I did some plate stacking in this tablescape. For the base plate, I used a solid cream base. Nothing fancy, just really plain. Great color, but just super plain. Then next came the olive green Thompson salad plate. The edges of the Thompson salad plate look like flower petals and they're gently, just lightly edged with light brown. Johnson Brothers Heritage Hall plates are gorgeous. The house in the center of the plate is just typical of the Pennsylvania countryside. And then the pastoral scene surrounding the home. There's a man standing behind a picket fence, and uh, the forefront has the horse and a buggy, and I love the scene where a dog is being bullied by a goose. I don't know if you've ever had a goose get after you, but they can be very aggressive. And it's a delightful plate. So much is going on in this scene. It's just a small bread and butter plate, but it is a delightful scene. It portrays the beauty of hard work. And work isn't a punishment. It's a joy. My mother-in-law was telling us recently that she was making biscuits and cooking breakfast when she was eight years old. She and her sister worked together, taking turns. One would fry the bacon and eggs while the other made the biscuits. The next day, they'd swap duties. The one who made the biscuits the day before would fry the eggs and bacon. Now, she's older now, 94 years old, and her greatest challenge is wanting to do all the work she's always done. What some people would call work, she called loving her family. Making a living was filled with serving people, accomplishing tasks on her job, in her home, in her neighborhood that made life better for everyone around her. 
Proverbs 10.4 in the BSB says, Idle hands make one poor, but diligent hands bring wealth. He who gathers in the summer is a wise son, but he who sleeps during the harvest is a disgraceful son. The diligent hands of my husband's mother enriched our lives with fabulous meals, a clean, happy home that welcomed us and everybody that knew her for that matter. Her cakes have always been sinfully delicious, and we are rich because she taught her children to work hard and serve well. The adage, many hands make light work, is very, very true. And I'm so thankful for my husband's mother and how she modeled a good work ethic. Let me finish this tablescape with you. I've already said finishing touches are so important, so let me finish my description. I place the fan folded napkins in a beige colored ceramic embossed napkin ring at the top of the charger. I use the dull green flatware and the glasses or bands of chocolate colors on the stemware that seem to blend into the table design like a painting, each piece contributing without drawing attention to itself. Work is part of the painting of life. I am so thankful for the joys that accompany labor, the sense of accomplishment, the joy of serving, and the privilege of making a difference in the world around us. The hands of the diligent bring wealth, and that's so much more than just money. Thank you so much. God bless you. I live by the mantra, everything tastes better on a pretty plate. And also, I don't save my best for company. I use my best to tell my family and special friends that they're important to me. I want them to leave my table full of food and great memories. But I hope you're leaving my table today hungry, hungry for more ideas and ways that you can love on your family too. And if you are, then I encourage you to subscribe, hit the bell, hit like, so that you won't miss a single video. You can go to my website, patriciaholland.org. Thank you again. God bless you.